We know that in order to see the future, we must look to the past. In order to bring lunar exploration into the 21st century, through science, technology, engineering, and math education, we figured we would do just that. We built a time machine and saw the future of space exploration and humanity. It was, to say the least, shocking. Wow! What happened? It was simple, really. The world ran out of energy and ideas. We didn't educate, we didn't think, we didn't plan. We were lulled to complacency by cool technology and video games, but never stopped to reinvest in STEM to grow the next generation of scientists and engineers. All the resources we needed were among us and on the move, like helium-3 for clean fusion energy. But no one knew or was inspired to go get it. So it sounds like we need to go back to the Apollo era and figure out how they went to the moon the first time so we can do it again and prevent this horrible future. Sounds like a good plan. What if we went to John F. Kennedy's speech at Rice University? The growth of our science and education will be enriched by new knowledge of our universe and environment, by new techniques of learning and mapping and observation, by new tools and computers for industry, medicine, and the home, as well as the school. We also checked out its impact 10 years later. Fly me Check to this out. The moon. Everyone's really well dressed. And look at those suave pocket protectors. Stars, and let me see what spring is like. Oh. Cool. And everyone's really young. Remember, the average age of the engineers and scientists on the Apollo program is only 26 years old. They must have learned a lot of STEM in the past 10 years in order to be able to make rockets. And along the way, they invented lots of great stuff that we use today, like microcomputers, satellites, Velcro, and more. Science, technology, engineering, and math education gives kids the tools needed to understand the broader world and give stepping stones to the development of more innovations to improve our lives. When humanity returns to the moon, we all have access to trillions of dollars of resources like Helium-3. A permanent establishment off of this planet will protect our species from the inevitable disasters that befall civilizations limited to their home world and ensure success in future lunar endeavors. Just as Apollo originated in STEM education, this next wave of space exploration must also originate with children. Programs like Moonbots inspire these kids to become the next generation of scientists, techno nerds, engineers, and mathematicians who grow up to be the Steve Jobs and Sergey Brins of the future. They will boldly lead humanity into the future, not just by pushing the frontiers of space, but also by inspiring ways of innovation here on Earth. When, and only when, humanity makes STEM education a priority, we will have a new generation of brilliant kids who will so soon grow up into brilliant adults that will lead humanity into a future that can truly last for millennia. And so you see, educating kids is an investment towards a glorious future.